Hi friends, good morning. I hope you are all feeling okay. So today, we are going to talk about something very, very interesting. And it's going to be counting money using coins. So I have over here, lots and lots of coins that we can play with today. And I'll even show you some of the older coins and some of the newer coins that we have in Singapore. But before we get started, we need to take a look at something that we have all been we have been using a lot in our classes, and that is our hundreds chart. And in the hundreds chart, we have uh, numbers going all the way from one, and they go down to one hundred, one by one. And this is very helpful in helping us to count money because of this column over here, and we call it the tens. When you look at the tens, you can see that it goes in order starting from 10, then 20, then 30, then 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Shall we count it together? Alright, ready? We'll start in 3, 2, 1, go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. So, this is very helpful in helping us to count coins because our coins usually go in pens. So we will need this to help us to count. So now let's take a look at some of the coins that we use in Singapore. This is the old 5 cent coin and this is the new 5 cent coin and we write it this way 5 cents or you can write it this way too 5 cents This is the old 10 cent coin and this is the new 10 cent coin and we write it this way 10 cents C-E-N-T-S or you can write it this way, 10. And this C with a line down is it is a symbol that we can use that also means cents. Here is a 20 cent coin and a new one and an old 20 cent coin. Over here. You can see two zero. Mm -hmm. And we write it this way. 20 cents. Or the same way, 20, and we use the same symbol, the C, with the line down. Also, the 50 cent coin, we're almost there. This is the new 50 cent coin, and I do not have an old 50 cent coin, but I'll just put a second 50 cent coin here. You can take a look around your house, or in Daddy and Mommy's wallet, or maybe in your piggy bank, to see if you have an old 50 cent coin. So this is how we write 50 cents. 50, C, E N T S and 50 cents. Like that. Lastly, we have our last coin over here. I'll move the box up a bit. This is our $1 coin. Let's put it here. $1 coin. Our old $1 coin looks like that, and this is the new $1 coin. It's gold with a bit of silver over here. So, because this is not one cent, this is one dollar, we write it differently. Take a look. One dollar. And because it's not a cent anymore, it's a dollar, and we don't use the C with a line in the middle anymore. We use the S with a line in the middle, and then number one. So this means... One dollar. Let me move this one closer. So we have five cents, ten cents, twenty cents, fifty cents, mm -hmm. and one dollar. You will notice that some coins are in cents, 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 and some coins are in dollars. So what is the difference between cents? 
N dollars. To turn a cent, cent is smaller than a dollar. To turn a cent into a dollar, you will need 100 cents to make one dollar. 100 cents makes one dollar. So this is what it will look like. So this is our 100 chart and how it will help us. So let's make 100 cents and turn it into one dollar. I have some 10 cent coins over here and we are going to use the tens column to help us make 100. Let's count together. 10 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents, 40 cents, 50 cents, 60 cents, 70 cents, 80 cents, 90 cents, and lastly, 100 cents. But 100 cents, like I showed you earlier, over here, 100 cents is one dollar, and therefore, and so that makes these coins one dollar. So how can we add coins together? When we add things, we use the plus sign over here, the plus. So this is how we can use it. I have two five cent coins over here, and this is five cents plus five cents. Five cents plus five cents. Five plus five makes ten. And so we have ten cents, and that will look something like this. Very good. Now let's try another one. Ten cents plus ten cents. Ten cents plus ten cents. Ten cents plus ten cents. Ten plus ten equals to twenty cents. Over here. So this is how you add coins together. But what if you have many, many coins in a row? Let's say I have this number of coins. You can say this is a 10 cent coin and you want to plus the next coin. The next coin is 10 cents. So draw an, you can draw an arrow like that to say I'm going this way and you can say plus 10 cents. 10 cents plus 10 cents how much is over here now? You have 20 cents. And if you want to go on again, you will need to go to the next coin. And the next coin is 5 cents. So you can say plus 5 cents. 20 cents plus 5 cents. 20 plus 5 makes 25. And so, there is 25 cents over here. Let's try something else. Are we ready? This is 20 cents over here. We add another 20 cents. 20 cents plus 20 cents equals to 40 cents. So now there are 40 cents here. Let's move on to the next coin. What kind, What coin is this? Yep, it's a 5 cent coin. 40 cents plus 5 cents. 40 cents, 40 plus 5 equals to 45. Now we have 45 cents. What about the last coin? Let's move on. The last coin, we draw the last arrow and it will be adding 5 cents, 5 cents plus 5 cents. 45 plus 5. If you're not very sure, you can use the hundreds chart over here. 45 plus 5. 45 plus 5. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 
45 plus 5 equals to 50 cents. And we did it. These coins are put together, make 50 cents. Let's try one last one together and then you can use the coins around your house to try to make your own different amount. Here I have five coins. Shall, shall we start? Okay. This is 20 cents. And we add the next coin over here which is also 20 cents and that means 20 plus 20 equals to 40 cents now these two coins together make 40 cents let's add the next coin and the next coin is also 20 cents so we draw an arrow and we say plus 20 cents plus 20 cents 40 it's very important not to look at this. Look at the total amount together now. And we will add it to this 20 cents over here. 40 plus 20 makes 60. If you're not sure, it's okay. It takes some time. And of course, this 100 charts over here will help you. Okay? You can draw your own 100 chart if you don't have a printer at home. Or you can print one. Or you can make one. You can decorate your own 100 chart. So let's move on. The next coin over here is 20 cents. So it's 20 cents. 60 cents plus 20 cents equals to 60 plus 20 equals to 80 cents. So now these coins are 80 cents. But we haven't added the last coin yet. We haven't plus it together. Let's do it. 80 cents plus 20 cents 80 cents plus 20 cents 80 plus 20 makes I'm going to pause and give you some time to think 80 plus 20 makes 100 cents so over here we have 100 cents. 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20. 20 cents, 40 cents, 60 cents, 80 cents, 100 cents. And 100 cents, it's also equals to one dollar. So this can also be written as one dollar and so now you know that these five coins, sorry, I will not separate them. They make one dollar. 